In this video, we'll be configuring a domain to our project. When you deploy your project, one of the recommended actions that you take before deploying is adding a domain to your project. This is found in the domain section on the left hand side. You'll notice in the domain section, you can add a domain by clicking on add domain at the top right. We're going to be adding a front end domain to our project. We simply click on add domain and there are a few options that appear. When you add a domain, you'll have the option to add a Koji subdomain or a domain that you currently own. First, we'll be configuring a Koji subdomain and we're going to use the domain withkoji.com. All we need to do to add a Koji subdomain is go down to the area that says my domain and then type in a domain name. I'm going to type in match space game dot with Koji dot com. Then we just click on add. You'll notice that a domain has appeared in the front end section. Once we deploy our project, we'll be able to click on this domain and play our game. You can refer to the deployment video to see what I'm talking about. Now let's go ahead and add a custom domain to our project. Just like before, we'll click on add domain and then we'll click on a domain I own. Now I have a couple of domains that I've already configured. In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to configure this spacematch.world domain. I've taken it off of my list for now. We'll do this by clicking on configure new domain and then adding our domain to the list. Then click on add. At this point, we'll get some instructions saying that our project has been successfully configured to start receiving traffic to this custom domain. But what we need to do on our end is go to our hosting site and set the domain in our DNS records. I purchased my domain through Namecheap and I can configure the DNS settings by going into domain list and then clicking on manage. This process will be very similar amongst other domain sites. Once we get into our domain settings, we'll go into the advanced DNS settings. And then what we'll want to do is add a CNAME record. To do this, we'll go into our host records area and then click on add new record. Again, this process should be similar in other domain sites. Click add new record and then select CNAME record. We'll have our host be www and then for our value, we'll need to make sure that we use the cnames.withkoji.com value. We'll copy this and paste it in our value here. Lastly, we'll set our TTL, our time to live, to automatic. Then just save the changes and then wait for an email from Koji to confirm that this domain was added. This may take up to an hour, but could be sooner. You should receive an email that's similar to this. It states your domain has been configured and is ready to use. Once you receive this email, you can go back into your project and test out your domain. So let's go ahead and test out this domain. I'll type in spacematch.world and we'll test out our game. It looks like it worked. As you can see, adding a domain to your project is simple. If you're having any trouble configuring a domain, feel free to reach out in our Discord server or email us at contact at gometa.io.